So, so where we're going tonight is this. Imagine, I'm going to lay out a scenario. Imagine artificial intelligence has now taken over the world to such a degree that every political figure, every religious figure, every uh, leading economist, every leading banker, every leading world head is already being controlled by AI through the situations and circumstances they're finding in their life. Then imagine that every single response that can possibly be uh, articulated, how people that are left alive are going to respond, are being wargamed in the labyrinth of the underground laboratories and bases throughout the world. Imagine that GigaDeath, as uh, Dr. Degaris talk about, uh, spoke about and addressed, GigaDeath is already underway. So get this, everyone. We are now seeing, I believe, the literal fulfillment of the words that were given to me that I gave to everybody on talk radio, and I didn't make them up myself, that everything we knew as normal would no longer apply after Branson. Look at the weather. Look at the uh, uh, earthquakes, the tsunamis, everything that's bizarre. Look at what once was a cohesive force and NATO no longer exists, and it doesn't. Look at all the different double crosses, triple crosses, and quadruple crosses. Good example of a double cross is when flake turned into dan uh, dandruff, you know, and basically just sank. Uh, outside of the grace of God, just thank the Republican Party. Now, I'm telling you that these guys know through their AI programming and their supernatural evil orchestration, command control, and communication exactly what they have planned. And it was just as in the days of Esther. It was just as in the days of Jehoshaphat when he came up against uh, unimaginable odds that only God can deliver his people at this time. And now, Doug, there's even a Christian trend transhumanist organization that is talking about guys like Tom Horn and I and the others. And, and look, I'm not ruling out anybody. There's plenty of people out there speaking out against it. But since we were kind of, I guess you'd say, identified as the leaders of the transhumanist resistance, you better believe it. But I think the gentleman that wrote that should basically consider listening to Dr. DeGaris's presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, please, for the sake of your posture, I want to talk about no flesh left alive. You are being replaced. And we are seeing the convergence of history, technology, and the final wars of the end days, and they're playing out now. You know, people said, well, everybody who's ever lived before thought it was the end of the time, and someone went the mountain, and Jesus never came. I've heard every excuse. I've read every excuse. But this is different. Never in the history of mankind has technology met up with God's chronological timetable, and when God calls the end of days, the end of days, he isn't saying, well, I'm going to prolong this or prolong that. It is he who has defined the term, not us. So what we're seeing, Doug, what we're seeing, Joe, what we're seeing, audience, is we're seeing our world is now in chaos. It's becoming more competitive in multidimensional battles, whether it's, whether it's religious, i.e., watch what's happening to the Catholic Church. Do you think that's ever happened before? Uh, you're, we're watching uh, the, if you will, the appearance of the thousands, if not millions of reports of aerial phenomena, whether it's UFOs, whether it's IFOs, identified flying objects, meaning our technology, whether it's even uh, every form of mythological beast are now, people are seeing those things. So as in the days of Noah, we've got cross-species molecular breeding programs, uh, engineering entities. We just saw a news story, didn't we, today, Joe? And Doug, did you see it, that they're, you know, making... Brains. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pardon? The connecting of the brains? No, 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 no. They're they're actually making uh uh eggs out of the bloodstream, synthetic eggs. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Embryos, yep. uh, not embryos, but uh eggs. Now listen to this. Any human design system, no matter how complex, is just a technological artifact. Now why that's an important statement is this. 
every human design system, but you've got to understand what we're talking about is AI. And I've got a new term tonight that I'll break on Hagman and Hagman. It's called AI squared, Antichrist intelligence, Antichrist inquisition. Because, ladies and gentlemen, there has never been a time like this, nor will be, and except the days be shortened for the elect's sake, as Jesus himself said, there would be no flesh left alive. And here's here's the hardest point that I can uh, try and get across is that when you're talking about the extinction of the human race, very few people, number one, will take that statement seriously or have even understood how it might come about. And yet we're laying it out, and I believe God's word is true. Surely the Lord God will do nothing except he reveals his secrets to his servants of prophets. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. God himself says that his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, not because he doesn't present it to them, but because they reject it. I think you're seeing that across the planet. Now, what is going to be important is for people to understand AI is an evil and illegal power network to seize your body, mind, and spirit. I want to say that again. AI is an evil and illegal power network to seize your body, mind, and spirit. You talk about techno-rape. You talk about the absolute uh, usurpation of free will and consciousness, and you've got the absolute in-your-face presentation of the destruction of humanity. Now you've got also the ability that AI will be able to take your desires and materialize and assemble them. Now, we're all going to be faced with a choice, and we're living in the days of Noah. People say, I don't believe it. Just watch. You're living in it. And we're going to see now, Doug, the top ten weapons of mass destruction that are going to happen. And here's what I want to share with everyone. All life has now been transformed. This is what's going to be on my notes that I was going to present at Branson, but because we had the issue with Tom Horn getting sick and we had to switch everything around, I had to change everything down, too. All life has now been transformed for a delivery system for wholesale slaughter down to the molecular level level. Even your atoms. You talk about an atomic bomb. These people want to take you apart on a subatomic level and are working to do so even through things like CERN and the sesame reactor that is in the Middle East. Stealth and deception and weaponized trust. Look at this statement. What are you going to believe? Me, that Bill Clinton said this, to quote Clinton, or your lion eyes? We're seeing now the the implementation of strange and unusual doctrine. And I said truth in America in the last days would become one man lies, another one says hallelujah, brother, and everybody says amen. And that's what's happening in the world, both the carnal and unfortunately the church.